Um, and then uh, going back to the circulator, um, as you know, I put extra money in the budget last year so that the circulator drivers could get uh, uh, a bit of parity with uh, other uh, bus drivers. Um, you had a, a group meet with you recently, and they reported to me that you thought that uh, this um, this might not carry forward, this uh, parity with, with other drivers. I'm trying to get a handle on that. I'm not familiar uh, specifically with what you're referring to. Uh, you had a meeting with people who were talking about their basic premise was to bring the circulator in-house, which I support, but uh, they, they reported to me anyway that uh, you had indicated some degree of uncertainty about whether the circulator bus drivers would continue to have um, you know, parity in their pay along the lines of the money I put in the budget last year, because it's an operating, obviously an operating expense. I'm not sure that that's an accurate uh, characterization of, of the So can I have some confidence that really what we're looking to do is to maintain that parity? I think one of the things that we talked about as a, as a function of where we are in the procurement process is there are, there are certain things that, uh, that we hope we'll, we'll have some clarity in, in the upcoming weeks as that procurement uh, as that procurement process moves forward. Uh, and so we feel that several of the steps that are, uh, that will be uh, taken that are in place uh, will go towards achieving some of the objectives uh, that okay, I know that's are kind of very evasive. important. I, uh, could you just say that yes, you're gonna strive to provide parity for these drivers? It's only fair and right. Yeah. Again, I'm just not. I'm not specifically sure. I, I don't want to misspeak as to what okay. the what the terms are. Uh, but I think fundamentally, my point is that uh, the new one of the benefits of having the contract be managed by DDOT is that there there will be certain uh, there will be certain uh, differences changes uh, that I believe will go towards that ob that objective. Okay. Uh, and then um, in that same vein, uh, I'll be asking uh, the mayor. Uh, for uh, additional monies to make sure that their benefits package is on par as well. Again, only fair and right. Now, I have told them uh, by parity, I'm not talking about uh, a defined benefit pension. I think that that's a mistake. A defined uh, contribution pension uh, and, and commensurate health benefits and all the rest of that. I mean, these, these drivers are driving buses, just like the other drivers drive buses. And I think we need to provide them with the same package uh, that the other bus drivers get. So um, I'm just telling you that uh, that's where we should wind up. And if we don't wind up there, I, I think it's a you know it's really a, um, it's it's a mistake and it's it's wrong. So I'll just I'll leave it at that. And and I would hope that you would be a champion of of getting to that place. Um, and then in terms of uh, bringing the circulator in-house, I realize uh, what you said, and we've talked about this, that you have to go forward with this contract now. Um, but um, I would like to have a plan for bringing it in-house. And I do think that we have the capacity to do that. And I think that that should be a public function. I'm not a big fan of privatization. I'm, I'm not a big fan of privatizing uh, jails or privatizing school food contracts or any of these things. I think you get a bad result. Um, and the people tend to be treated uh, uh, worse than they would if they were actually uh, our government employees. So uh, could I hear from you what you're thinking? I know we're going to enter into this contract. I know that. Because, you know, the time period is short. But I would like to have some commitment that we're going to look seriously at taking it back, or not taking it back, but taking it in house. As as uh, I, I, I mean, know. I could legislate that, you know. So I just want to hear what you have to say. Sure, you know, I think there are, there are a number of the district has never operated a an in house transit system, and so there are a number of complexities. Uh, I mean, frankly, there are there are many uh, complexities that would. Uh, that would coincide with that type of endeavor. Uh, and certainly, uh, fundamentally, we would need to, uh, that would just, uh, as a baseline, for example, we're talking about 220 plus uh, operators. It, it, bringing 220 uh, employees into the district would, would, about, would be we a 25% We have 33,000 employees. Into, into DDOT specifically, it would yes, require... Yes, we have 33,000 employees. Uh, and we should talk more. I, I don't mean to cut you off, but it, the hour is late. But uh, we should talk more about this because one of the things that we could do is create a transit authority 
and bring our transit operations, whether it be bike share or circulator, um, under uh, that authority and, and have it run that way. And so uh, DDOT, which is a sprawling, metastasizing entity in some sense, may, maybe you're right, maybe you can't handle that. Um, but I think that we ought to be thinking uh, concretely along those lines. Um, and so you and I can talk about it more, so I don't want to hold everybody up, but I think that's really where we have to go, okay?